Hi everyone. So over the past 6 months I have been running Monero mining at my home server. This wasn't about chasing profits or jumping on the crypto hype. I did this to learn how the mining works. So from how to set up a full node, create crypto wallets and figure out how the rewards would pay out. And then I thought why not to make a whole video and share my journey with you all. I'll walk you through what I built, how it all worked and what I learned. And yes, I'll also show you how much I actually earned later in the video. So if you're not familiar with words like crypto, mining, blockchain, don't worry. I'm going to explain all these words in a very simplistic form and very beginner-friendly way. So hopefully the next time you hear all these words, you will exactly know what they mean. And if there is a specific section you are curious about, feel free to skip ahead. Everything is broken down step by step. But before we get into crypto mining, let's quickly understand what mining is. And for that, let me show you a very simplified diagram. Your computer or more specifically your CPU is constantly solving complex math problems. These problems help verify transactions on the blockchain. Now, if you're not familiar with blockchain, trust me, that's a whole Pandora's box on its own. But to simplify it, think of it like a giant notebook. Each page in that notebook shows who gave money to who, and to add a new page, computer races to solve a puzzle. The first one to solve it gets to write the next page and earn some virtual coin as a reward if you like to have a detailed explanation of that you can let me know in the comments and i can make a separate video on blockchain in manaro's case these puzzles are solved using an algorithm called randomx which is specifically designed to be cpu friendly so in short your cpu solves cryptographic puzzles helps build the blockchain gets rewarded with monero Now the way you participate in this process alone or with others is where solo versus pool mining comes in. So when you start mining you face a choice. Go solo like do it alone or join a pool with others which is combining hardware power in a pool. In solo mining you connect your miner to your own node and hope you find a block. If you do you get the full reward. But realistically with low hash power you may never find a block. On the other hand pool mining means teaming up with others. the reward is split based on your contribution and you get small frequent payouts based on your contribution to solve that puzzle now that we have discussed what mining is and the different ways to mine let's talk about cryptocurrencies like bitcoin and ethereum and one more thing before mining monero i actually tried mining bitcoin and here's the thing bitcoin requires asics which are specifically designed to mine bitcoin ethereum moved to proof of stake a term which you don't have to worry about in this video just understand in proof of stake people help run blockchain by locking up their coins unlike mining bitcoin where you need powerful machine well none of them made sense for my hardware actually since i have a cpu heavy dell server monero on the other hand is a crypto coin that's still mineable efficiently on cpus it doesn't need a gpu it's asic resistant and has a strong focus on decentralization and privacy Here's a quick breakdown of why Monero stood out. So the first one would be privacy. It is baked in by default, no transparent blockchain, no address tracking. It's also optimized for CPUs using random x algorithm. You can also run a full node at home, which I did, and lastly, its adaptive block size keeps fees low and transaction flowing. This made it the perfect choice for my home server experiment. So I earlier told you about solo mining and pool mining. When I started mining, I actually started with solo mining and then I switched into something in between which was P2P. Let me show you what exactly it is. Unlike traditional mining pools that rely on a central server, P2P pool is fully decentralized. Every miner runs their own mini node and shares work directly with others in a peer-to-peer -peer network. Hence, there is no single point of control. The upside, more privacy, no trust in a central entity the downside you still need decent hash power to get payouts with my setup they were very rare so here's what my setup looked like when i started i had two virtual machines running on my dell server vm1 ran the full monero node plus p2p pool instance vm2 ran the miner that submitted hashes to the p2p pool instance locally let me show you actually how it looks like in my server this is my proxmox ui It is running on Dell server R520. As you can see here, I have Monero node and Monero miner. So Monero node is the VM where I am hosting my full Monero node. Within this VM, I also have a P2P pool instance. Whereas Monero miner is my miner node which connects to my Monero node 
and try to solve the complex puzzles as mentioned earlier in the video. Here you can see I have 6 CPUs allocated to this VM and it's running on its full capacity. Whereas Monero node has been given only 2 CPUs and since I am not actively using Monero node now, the utilization is almost 0%. Now let me show you how actually I started with P2 pool instance and then why I switched to something else. So when I started with P2P pool, the flow looked like this. My CPU ran hash functions using the random X algorithm. These were submitted to the P2 pool running on VM1. That node participated in the global P2 pool network. And if the network found a block and I contributed enough valid shares, I got a payout to my wallet. Simple in theory, but in practice, I waited for days with zero payouts. And this was the reason I made a switch. And I switched to Monero Ocean, a centralized mining pool. Now the flow looked like this. My miner on VM2 sent hashes directly to Monero Ocean. So there is no more VM1 contribution here. When the pool found a block, they credited my share and the payout went directly to my Monero wallet running on VM1. It wasn't as decentralized, but I was finally seeing small frequent rewards. This is the Monero Ocean dashboard, which helped me track my progress. I could see the accepted shares, payouts, hash rate history all in real time. As you can see here, my current hash rate is 773.5 hashes per second, which is absolutely not a lot. But this dashboard gave me more motivation to tune things, explore backend logs and optimize CPU performance. Alright, now to the part you have probably been waiting for. What did I actually earn? Well, not too much. Over 6 months, I earned about 0.05 XMR in total. Most of it came from Monero Ocean. P2 pool gave me few payouts initially and that too after days of trying. In terms of energy use and noise, it's definitely not profitable. But for me, the goal was never the money. It was the knowledge. But here's what I ended up learning through this whole journey. How to set up and sync a full node properly how to handle wallets securely, like dealing with private keys and viewing balances without exposing anything. I also learned how to optimize my CPU, tune threads and benchmark performances. I got a solid understanding of how mining pools actually work, from shares to payout. I spent a lot of time reading logs, debugging issues and just seeing how the miner behaves behind the scenes. And finally, I understood the privacy trade-offs between using something like a centralized pool and running a decentralized option like P2 pool. So why stop now? It's loud and it eats a lot of power. And I have learned what I needed to. I have maintained it, upgraded the configs, watched logs daily, and I think now it's time to move on. If you are curious about learning crypto or mining, I would actually recommend trying Monero on your old laptop or PC. Not to earn, but to learn. And if you want a step-by-step -step video where I walk you through how to install it in any machine, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.